Uh, it's about quarter to nine in the morning. The sun's over that way, so I have my solar panels tipped up that way and down on this side. And right now I'm running just on solar panels and two of the solar panels are charging the batteries. And I'm getting pretty good speed. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. motor sticking out the bottom that I don't normally have so I can't just run straight through the shallow water areas. Alright, got my map here. Good thing. Let's see, where am I going? Of course my map doesn't show shallow areas. I, I know where pretty much all of them are though. Oh, son of a... Oh, oh look at the size of that cloud. Oh, that cloud is huge. Not ready to use batteries yet. I want them to still charge. Well, I guess I'm just pedaling for a while. Oh, it looks like the clouds are breaking up. It's funny, I only made it like a mile before the clouds showed up. I went maybe another mile, maybe half a mile pedaling. And uh, yeah, it looks like I'm back on track. <laughs> this is my one shallow spot on this route. So I'm just gonna pedal through. It looks like I'm fine though. I think it's still like two meters deep, meter and a half. I leveled out my panels because the sun's getting higher. Now I don't have to worry as much about uh, side winds. But uh, the winds have been very cooperative today anyway. That's one of the reasons I went today. <clears throat> tomorrow is supposed to be sunnier. However, there's more winds tomorrow. I didn't want to do a first real test in the wind. All right, it looks like I'm past all this shallow stuff. Uh, let's keep going. I just went two hours without stopping and everything ran perfectly. No problems at all. And I picked up my package. Yep, that's all I came for. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to turn around and go home. And those solar panels are doing great. I've even had a bunch of clouds on the way here. Right now it's pretty cloudy actually. And uh, they've still been doing really well. You know, one of my worries in motorizing this boat was that if I had a motor on it, I might not get any exercise anymore. However, I found that just because of who I am, I pedal hard anyway. I just go faster. So yeah, I still got plenty of ex exercise. My legs are feeling it. I just got here a lot faster, so I won't be you know knocked out tomorrow. All right. Let's go home. You know, it's kind of silly. This whole trip I've been designing in my head like the perfect boat for these solar panels and this motor and these batteries. Which isn't this. I mean this is pretty good. But I didn't make the boat specifically for that stuff. So yeah. I've got some cool designs in my head. However, I'm not making another boat until I finish my house. Even if it's really, really cool. When the 
waves are coming in sideways like this, the hardest part is keeping the boat on course. Because it keeps steering the boat left and right. And if I'm not fighting it with the rudder, I end up totally going the wrong direction. Other than that, uh, everything's working. Still making good time, going fast. Just a bumpy ride. Oh man, that got pretty crazy back there. I had waves coming up on the front of the boat and stuff. Anyway, I'm in clear water now. I got past some little islands that I aimed for and it should be pretty clear for the rest of the way home. Now, while I was out there trying to get my butt out of the, the wavy area, I tested my motor's second speed because most of this I've been doing on the lowest power. And uh, well, here, let's check it out. Okay, here's here's low power. Oh, and this is not it's not even on the third speed. There's a faster speed than I'm about to do, but I don't want to use it until I reinforce the motor area because even just the second one is pretty crazy. All right, looks pretty good, right? This is what I've been doing pretty much all day. The low power. Now let's uh, take our little handle and. <laughs> so I decided to test this because my batteries are fully charged now. I can't wait to test the third speed. But seriously, I want to reinforce that motor area just in case it rips the transom off the boat or something. Man, that thing is cranking right now. Up here I've got a little green light that is indicating that the batteries are still fully charged. So, it looks like my solar panels can keep up with uh, the second power setting. Uh, in, the sun's pretty good right now, it's still pretty high in the sky. so happy with this boat oh that was so nice oh so good like none of the problems I was concerned might happen happened everything was oh oh good good test good first test and that was like I'm not sure exactly how long it took but maybe five hours of driving and yeah everything worked perfect even when I was in those waves and uh the motor was coming out of the water, you know, it, it'd get bubbles for a second, but then it would clear itself as soon as it got back into the water. Oh man, that was really good. I can't wait to try warp three. Oh, warp three is going to be so fast. My little blinky light over here is telling me that I did dip into the batteries. Oh, sorry, what was that? Anyway, I'm back. Uh, over and out. I'll see you in a minute. So I, I did get into the batteries a little bit. I think it might have been when I was going through some clouds uh, and then it cleared up but uh, for maybe 20 minutes I was in clouds so I'm sure I was using a bunch of battery then anyway whatever 